Hello again guys and welcome back to Let's Play This War of Mine. We had just returned from our raid to the airport and we had gotten some pretty neat things. Some food, some parts and some components. Everything that we need. So then let's have a well deserved rest after we bring the temperature up a bit of course. You can go to bed, you can go to bed. And here, oh, okay, nice. So now I have plenty of food. It's no longer a big problem. Now I'm starting to think I need to save those because those are also going to be used from the for the garden. So I don't know. I think I might. Yeah, let's let's use one more, I guess. We'll still have a couple for the garden. Speaking of which, let's try to do this. But how much does the garden cost? Yikes! Still cannot make it. <laughs> how much water do we have? Eight. Okay, still enough. How about upgrading this? So only the thermal regulator. Do we have enough electric parts for it? Yes, I guess. Oh, perfect, perfect. So we're going to upgrade the heater. And what else? I guess next thing to do would be to just build the herbal garden. Let's see, let's do this. The upgraded heater looks much nicer as well. Doesn't look like so clunky, like one of those stoves that we have we used to have in my village. Actually, even the upgraded one looks like that, but yeah, we'll see. It's much fancier anyway. And is this a washing machine here? <laughs> I wonder who uses it. It doesn't look like it's operating. See? Very nice. Looks much nicer. Okay. Yeah, it's getting colder and colder. I think the winter event and the advent of time of crime event are actually not uh, overlappable, so I don't think it's going to get much colder while there's still criminals roaming the streets. Because you see, the cold scares them away. And we got no, no new news. <laughs> How I like to say. Um. High fuel. We are slowly running out of it. Okay, bunch of components, bunch of wood. Okay, you go to bed. And the two of you can just relax, I guess. So see, I didn't send him here, he went there on his own, so now he's going to light up a cigarette. <laughs> there you go. So once we provide him with cigarettes, he's going to use them. And supposedly he's supposed to be happier. But it's not such a big difference that it's noticeable to tell you the truth. I mean, it's like this in theory, but I don't know about in practice. I think it doesn't make such a big difference. And yeah, I think there's nothing else to do today. So let's just end the day. Oh nice, plenty of new places to scavenge. So we got the hotel. 
Over and travel agency used to own this small yet luxurious hotel. The owners fled the city just before the siege, along with the foreign ju journalists who had been staying here. Someone moved in there recently and spread the news that he was willing to barter. Maybe he has something useful to us. Alright, so we have the trader there. Construction site. It was supposed to be a luxurious residential area and there was a great hype on apartments there, but the developers fled abroad when the war started. Recently the military wrestled control over this area from the rebels. We could scavenge whatever the rebels left behind, but there is risk of encountering military patrols. Right, okay. That sounds dangerous. Old town. Oh, okay, so this is the place with all the... Where all the people gather to sell stuff is the marketplace. The old town used to be a crucible of cultures, with its distinct mix of architectural styles and many great Grazni and Visenia restaurants and pubs. Military positions in the overlooking mountains make it a dangerous place now, but if we take the risk we might find some supplies there. And the military outpost. Those who am at each other during the day often trade with each other at night. <laughs> yeah, and do other things. These soldiers have a lot of goods and they're willing to trade, especially for alcohol or cigarettes. <laughs> well, too bad we don't have any. But be careful, you never know what to expect from them. Okay, so actually... Might not be a bad idea to go here. We don't have anything to trade at the moment. So the town and military outposts are kind of irrelevant. And also the hotel. See, these are all trading spots. What the hell? Only this one is scavenging spot and it's dangerous. But let's finish the airport first, I guess. And we also have those other locations that we could check. Let's go to the airport. Let's put everybody on guard and let's go. And yeah, I don't think we need anything this time. Alright, so let's get back here. I think, yeah, it was here. Oh, actually there was something in the bottom, now that I think about it. I think I scavenged everything from here. But can't we get to the bottom floor somehow? Oh, there you go, okay. Nice. Oh, okay, no, no. Also, just this pile. And here we have the military outpost. So we shouldn't go inside. See, there's a guard right away. I think he's going to shoot us if we just... if we walk in. So let's not risk it. I have pretty... bad experience with guards. <laughs> Alright, where was... oh yeah, there you go. There is this location. Okay, can we... Can't we go upstairs? Oh yeah, we can go from here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, there is a rubble pile here. Which, unfortunately, we didn't get the show this time. Oh! Oh! A broken guitar! Nice! So we can fix it and play some nice music. Uh, cannot get it up there, though. So I guess... We could start working on this pile, even though it will take until tomorrow. But well, there's nothing else to do at the moment. 
<laughs> Sorry. I was trying to be efficient. I was trying to utilize our storage space as best as we can. So, <laughs> I always feel a bit awkward during those times. I don't have anything interesting to say. <laughs> I don't know how all the good Let's Players do it. They can come up with witty one-liners or even <laughs> more than one line of interesting dialogue or monologue, more likely. Dun 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 dun. Almost there. Alright, what's left in here? Gotta be something good since it, we spent so much time. Uh, <laughs> one piece of wood, are you kidding me? Okay, I guess not. Do we really have to go around the long way? Okay. I think there was even something down there. But actually, let's not take it now. Okay. So instead of woods, let's take some more components. Is there anything else that we need? Well, all those things are a bit useful, but not at the moment, I guess, or at least I don't have the story space to take them. Wow, is it has been day 17 already? Time sure flies when you're having so much fun. And of course we got raided again. And of course this time Bruno got wounded. Seriously guys. Alright. Just get get bandaged I guess. And you guys can go to bed. Since Bruno needs to to <laughs> make some meals. Oh, okay, perfect. So I can make four right away. Yeah, so we gotta put some fuel in the heater as well and pick up the red meat and listen to the radio. Listen to the radio. Oh, in due time, I guess. <laughs> and we're out of veggies again. Actually, we got that pretty fast, I think. Did we put the trap tomorrow? Oh, yesterday? Yeah, okay, let's start using the raw food now. Alright. I forgot what I was about to do. Oh yeah, put some stuff in the heater. Let's listen to some radio. Hopefully those raids are... Should... Should stop happening soon. <laughs> Otherwise we're going to run out of bandages. 
really quickly if they keep wounding us. Let's see. Yeah, we have only two water. Alright, do we have any filters? No. Let's make some water, I guess. It's time. Oh, who is this? Not the trader. Uh, let's get the water going first and then we'll... We'll talk to her. Hopefully she doesn't disappear. Alright, let's go. They're still sleeping. Oh! So this is Lata. Hi, you look friendly. My name is Zlata. I used to study at the music academy before it got closed due to war. What about twist... Uh, okay. <laughs> Should be how about, not what about, but whatever. What about we stick together for the time being? We can watch over each other. Besides, it's always better to have some company to cheer you up. Alright, so basically she is offering to join us. So we have one extra mouth to feed, but one extra... Survivor to play around with, I guess. So sure, yeah, let's take her. And... Oh, and she's sick. Well... I guess she comes with a price. Let's get her some medicine. But now at least Bruno can... Can sleep in the bed. Let's see, everybody else, everybody else is already not tired. Let's send her to bed since she is on meds. And those two guys, I guess have nothing to do. Oh, they gotta eat first actually. I'm gonna read Zlata's bio just in a second. But you remember that broken guitar that we found? Think if we have enough resources, uh, resources, we can repair it and create a real guitar that she can play. Technically, only a few of the survivors can play the guitar. I know most, most of them suck at it, but there are a few who are really good. I know there is this lady, Katya, she is in one of the scenarios, one of the other scenarios, and she is a really good negotiator when bartering for prices, but unfortunately we don't have her with us this game, and she is also very good at playing the guitar. Let's see, what do we need for it anyway? Oh, so we can already make it, hmm. Is it worth it though? <laughs> yikes. We're gonna be using our last component to create the herbal garden. And almost all of our wood. Let's do it though. I mean... Nothing else to do at the moment. And I think it's more important th than the guitar. So now we're going to just scavenge and get the... Get a bunch of components and wood during the next night. To compensate for this. So I think in level 1 there's nothing that useful that we can do with the garden. So, now we have more mouths to feed, which kind of sucks. But let's see, so if you go here, we can make some fertilizer. 
So it's like an endless cycle. You turn the raw food into fertilizer and then you turn the fertilizer into a couple of raw food items. But we don't need that, you can just put one raw food item in the trap for small animals. And yeah, we can also make herbs, but we don't need those either, unless we want to make bandages again. So, I think, so we need to upgrade. But the upgrade is really, really expensive. 30 components, 15 wood, 3 parts, 4 electric parts and 1 heat lamp, I think. And the heat lamp also needs electric parts. So I think it will be still be a while thing, until we can afford it and to make some fresh vegetables. Unfortunately. Yeah, so maybe I shouldn't have rushed, but eh, I guess whatever. We are going to build it eventually. And there is really nothing that requires our attention that much now. Oh, okay, let's read Zato's bio before we go to bed. I was just accepted to the music academy when the war broke out. I... Ha! <laughs> she bolstered spirits, nice. I had so many plans, I had dreams. I used to play the guitar, date boys, dance. My little brother today always made me smile. It all seems a dream now, replaced by this nightmare we live in. Yet, I still hope one day we can forget the war and carry on with our lives as it had never happened. So yeah, she can play the guitar, it was pretty much confirmed, but... I mean... We have to build the guitar first, <laughs> obviously. So... Yeah, let's just wait a bit more. Okay, as far as I know, Zlata sucks at guarding. She's pretty weak, so she's going to sleep in bed and hopefully recover. And Bruno and Pavle are going to guard as usual, and Marco is going to scavenge as usual. Uh, let's see, should we go to the airport again? What's a foot? Oh, that's probably now in the military section. Well, never mind. I just clean this place up. Let's get all the components and wood we can take. Oh, and to also need this. Yeah. There's plenty of wood left. Should I get this or the fertilizer or the small or the part? These all look pretty useful. Actually, let's take all of them. You know what? Even the herbal mats. Yeah. So I know there's plenty of wood here if we ever need wood again. But wood can be found almost anywhere, so should be good enough for now. Especially if we have the axe. We can find wood in any location that still has some furniture left. The 18. And still bands of looters are roaming the streets. Oh, we didn't get attacked. How quaint. Well, and it's time to end this video though. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.